Keeps control for Thompson. Pass for Stevens, wide open underneath in the basket. Great pass. X down, now kicks out up top to the left side, Caden Dahl. Dahl hesitates, then takes the three and knocks it home good. Dahl to get the turn. Carr keep, trying to keep those legs underneath, then uh, Kazek gets him down and there's the pin. Rebounded by Kendra Severson. Severson, here comes Bevins back the other way. Bevins, little contact, roll it in good for Elena Bevins, and we're tied. Through in Zeller with an excuse me bump, and here goes Semp for takeoff. Halston Telephone Company and RJ Broadcasting Incorporated is proud to present to you this broadcast on yourliveevent.com. It's part two of our doubleheader tonight here from West Fargo as now the fifth-ranked Fargo Davies Eagles in boys basketball tangle with the West Fargo Packers. And welcome inside West Fargo High School where the Packers are four and six so far here on the season. While the Fargo Davies Eagles through nine games are six and three on the year. Fargo Davies head coach by Bart Manson. They've lost three out of four games here, including their last game a week ago tonight, hosting West Fargo, Cheyenne, 86 to 70. It was the most points that Davies has given up to an opponent this season. Well, for the West Fargo Packers, they've lost back-to-back -back games against Fargo North a week ago tonight and at uh, Devils at Detroit Lakes earlier this week by 10. West Fargo Packers under the guidance of head coach Adam Polcheski. We'll take a quick break when we come back into this one. Go over some of the players to watch out for here on your live event. Welcome to the Empire. We have open gym times and two full courts with six basketball hoops. Court rentals are available. You can even host your own tournaments. Memberships are available. The Emperor's Club. Hone your skills and improve your game. Basketball and volleyball training classes are available now. The Empire, Fargo's newest sports complex. At Enbridge, we believe sustainability is the foundation of our success. How well we perform as a steward of our environment, a safe operator of essential energy infrastructure, a good neighbor, and a diverse employer defines our success. Learn more about Enbridge's environmental, social, and governance commitments and our Indigenous Reconciliation Plan at Enbridge.com. For a top-notch car wash experience, head to Fast Lane Car Wash, situated next to the Petro Stopping Center in Fargo. They treat every vehicle with the same respect and care as their own, ensuring that your car is in good hands from pre-wash preparation to hand-dry finish. Check out the Fast Lane Car Wash on the west side of the Petro Stopping Center in Fargo and spruce up your ride with interior detailing, buff, and wax at the Fast Lane with Thomas weekdays from 9 to 2. Call 701-799-8226 to schedule an appointment. As we continue on our pregame show here this senior, we'll get to our starting lineups in a moment. But first, let's take a look at some of the players to watch out for here this evening from Fargo Davies High School uh, going up against the West Fargo Packers, that is, from West Fargo High School. For Fargo Davies, Alpha Camara, the 6'4 senior, 10 points, 10 rebounds. In the starting lineup as well will be Daniel York, the 6'1 senior, 20 points and 3 assists per contest. Bies Winger can swing it from the outside, and Peter Havelka does some of the dirty work for them at the 6'5 senior forward. Again, not in the lineup here is Mason Claybo. Through four games this season, Claybo has been averaging 30 points per contest for the Eagles again through four games when he's played. Well, for the West Fargo Packers, a couple of guys that are in double digits. They're led by Tony Leal, the 6'5 senior forward with 23 points, 11 rebounds. 10 points with Sam Glant in the starting lineup after having McCollin Anderson out with a season-ending injury. And then Bonfis Loria can be a dangerous player in his own right, the 6'5 junior, averaging 11 points and six rebounds here for the West Fargo Packers. West Fargo after tonight will host Fargo Fargo South upcoming next week on Tuesday, then West Fargo Cheyenne a week from tonight. Well, for Fargo Davies, they will play at Horace upcoming uh, next week and then 
and the Eagles will continue their schedule after that. We'll take a quick break and we come back after this from West Fargo. It's the starting lineup and the opening tip. It's the Davies Eagles against the West Fargo Packers. Chase Miller, Chris Crick, and you on a Friday night here in West Fargo on your liveevent.com. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in North Dakota. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the NDHSAA and the North Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Hungry and on the road, Petro Stopping Center in Fargo has got your back. With an impressive lineup of goodies, including Popeye's Chicken, Charlie's Cheesesteaks, Cinnabon, Papa John's, and a mouth-watering full-sized restaurant, the Dolly Down Grill, you'll be spoiled for choice. Whether you're a quick pit stopper or looking to settle in for a while, Petro Stopping Center's Fargo location has got you covered 24-7 every day of the week. Cruise on over to their spot just off 45th Street and I-94 and indulge in a feast fit for the road warrior in you. Keep your job site stocked with reliable service from Prairie Supply, Inc., the contractor's headquarters. Our team specializes in everything concrete. That means hand tools and equipment, rebar of all shapes and sizes, concrete forming packages and ICFs, decorative concrete materials like color, stain, sealers, and coatings. And let's not forget our impressive fleet of winter construction equipment to keep the concrete flowing all year round. If you've got concrete questions, we've got concrete answers at Prairie Supply, Inc., the contractor's headquarters. Visit us today at any of our six locations. For trusted news, weather, and sports from your community, look to r &J Broadcasting Incorporated, KRJB, KRJM, and KKCQ Radio, and rjbroadcasting.com. Hear local voices from local radio with news and information from the area. Your information stations, KRJB, KRJM, and KKCQ Radio, and rjbroadcasting.com, local voices from local radio. As we get ready for the starting lineups here tonight between Fargo Davies averaging 76 points per contest while defensively giving up 65 for the Fargo Davies Eagles. A win here will get them to five and two on the season in conference play. While well, for the West Fargo Packers averaging 76 points per contest while defensively giving up 83 points per game. A win here for West Fargo would elevate them to four and three and also will put them in the four spot because they would have the game in hand with Fargo Davies being tied with the same conference record. So a mini interesting ball game, but what we know is this, not to say seeds don't matter in the EDC this year, but one through nine, the EDC is loaded here in this particular contest. As we get ready for the starting lineups here, first we'll start with the Fargo Davies Eagles and go like this. Daniel York, a 6'1 senior, averaging 20 points per contest. Alpha Camara, the 6'4 senior forward, a double-double of 10 points and 10 rebounds. Jackson Beiswinger, a 6'4 senior forward, nine points and six boards here for Jackson. Nick Hasbargan, the 6'1 senior forward, has bargain again with four points and five rebounds. And then Peter Havoka, the six more senior forward, averaging seven points and four rebounds. York, Camara, Beiswinger, has bargain, and Havoka here for the Fargo Davies Eagles. Clad in those cardinal red uniforms with the black numerals outlined in gold here this evening under the guidance of head coach Bart Manson. We turn our attention now to the West Fargo Packers. West Fargo out in their home white uniforms with the green numerals and lettering with Packers across the front and coached by Adam Polcheski. They'll roll like this in the backcourt, a 5'10 senior, Landon Trofgruben, five points and three rebounds. Bonfis Loria, the 6'5 junior stretch guard and forward at 11 points and six boards. Sam Glant, the 6'1 sophomore, 10 points and four rebounds for Glant. Keith McGregor, a 6'2 senior, eight points and three rebounds. And Tony Leal, future Bemidji State Beaver football player, 23 points and 11 rebounds here for Leo. Trough, Grubman, Loria, Glant, McGregor, and Leo. West Fargo again, head coach by Adam Paul Chesky. 
EDC Boys Basketball. We will have the EDC Basketball Tournament for you later on in March here on your live event.com as we will get to those games. A little bit different this year. They're not playing at the Shack with NDSU hosting some basketball games. The quarterfinals are still the same in the one playing game. Higher seed will host. But then it'll be between West Fargo, Cheyenne, North and South on a Thursday between the semis and loser out game. And then on a Saturday, the first Saturday in March, you'll have three games at Cheyenne, all state qualifiers. Three games will be in West Fargo, one state qualifier with an EC Boys and Girls Basketball Championship here from West Fargo. We'll have all those games for you on Saturday between Cheyenne and West Fargo here on your live event. Com. Chase Miller, Chris Crick, and you here on this Friday evening. Ryan Gellner will do the honors in the center circle here tonight on your live event.com. Camara against Tony Leal. It's EDC Boys Basketball on your live event.com. Opening tip at 7.51 as we get this one ready to roll. Everyone will take their respective spots. And Ryan Gellner. We'll put this one up in the air now for Camara right away with that 6'4 pterodactyl style frame. He can cover some real estate. Gets the opening tip. Camara guarded by Bonfist Loria. Camara probing, looking, dribble a handoff. Now as this one goes to by Swinger. Slip pass looking on the interior to Avelka. Tip to Wayne will stay with Fargo Davies. Fargo Davies coming off a lot, coming off a win against Fargo North last week, 45 to 41 in what was a rock fight but then they lost to West Fargo Cheyenne later in the week, 86-70. Kamara on the inside, Trofgruen trying to get the steal out of play, and it will be Eagles basketball. So for Fargo Davies, again, no Mason Claybo, which that is a quarterback of the team figuratively from the football field from a season and a half ago to what they do on the basketball court as well. Dribble pullback, by swinger, right pocket three, never drew iron, it'll be a shot clock. Violation. Fargo Davies plus 11 in their point differential from scoring to what they give up defensively so far. Well, the Packers are minus seven. So again, a sneaky game when it comes early on to the EDC standings of what the EDC tournament could look like in late February. Leo drive, kick, right hand side McGregor, rising, shooting, and scoring. Keaton McGregor with the triple on the opening points goes towards the West Fargo Packers. Front court, here goes York. York takes the screen. York, nice little shot fake off the window. Cool, calm, and collective. York, again, he averages 20 a night. Shoddy wide right there, eh, though, to make his way to the paint. Right-handed side, trough group, a nice little slip. Loria on the interior, got it to go for two. Bump this, Loria playing through some contact on the inside. Got it to go, and it's five to two, Packers. Bart Manson, Adam Paul Chesky, the head coach is here, and what has been in recent years, if you're the visitor, it's normally the good thing, as West Fargo and Davies have had tremendous success on the opposition's home floor. Davies with a turnover on the inside with Havelka. Last season, Fargo Davies swept all three games against West Fargo, including their EDC quarterfinals. They've won three straight. Last win for the Packers comes back in the state semifinals in 2022, a six-point win in Bismarck. Bonfis, Laurie, and Dem Manzali gets out of it. Here goes Glant. Glant rising from 12. That'll be off the iron. Rebound tapped out by Camara. Saved by York. Right in the hands of Leal on the inside off the window. Count it. Tony Leal with an and one opportunity. Camara will pick up the foul. His first and the team's first. A really nice heads up play by York to save it. The only problem was he saved it towards his basket where Tony Leal was. And then Alpha picks up the foul. Nice start for the West Fargo Packers. 7-2 early in this one. Leal, free throw line, can't get that one to fall. By Swinger collects the loose ball. For the Eagles, they will see it now to York. York, left-hand side at the left wing with By Swinger. Back up top to Havelka. Glant trying to get the poke away. Still, eventually, Leal comes up with it. Up the floor, it pinballs around, and Glant will corral it. Bonfis slows it up now to Leal. Tony looking for the reversal. Trough Grubin with a little cut, gives it to the baseline, open, shooting, and this one, it will be long, rebound on the inside of Hasbargan. Nick into the backcourt as it'll go with York. York into the front court. Bart Manson calls out the offense. 
Left-hand side is Beiswinger, now to Havelka. Havelka back to Beiswinger. Beiswinger the baseline. Poke away here by Glenn. It will stay Eagles basketball. On the girls game, that was a 5-0 start for Davies. Six consecutive points for West Fargo and then tied at 8-11 before Davies put the game away a little bit in that early part of the first half with that monster run to close out the opening 18 minutes. West Fargo has found themselves a nice rhythm offensively here in this one. How does Fargo Davies respond with York? And York will lose it. Good D by Trofgrub and a turnover here for the Eagles. Latest basketball polls in boys hoops. Minded High receiving all first place votes for head coach Dean Wincheski out west. Their number one, Century 2, North 3, 4 is Central with Cheyenne and Davies tied for fifth. Bismarck South Legacy in the receiving votes. Leo spins and his spin results in a turnover. By Swinger the front court. By Swinger to the baseline, teardropper off the side of the rim, no rebound in the hands of Tony Leo. Leo will slow it up. Not a glance as Adam Polcheski calls out the offense here for the Packers. Bonfis Loria leaves it Leo, left pocket in the hands. Driving, bounce pass Loria, no off the bounce pass by McGregor. Other side of the floor, Byswinger will see a kick ball. Eagles will make a substitution as Caleb Scari, the 6'1 senior, will check in, averaging three points per contest here for head coach Bart Manson as the Eagles will inbound the basketball. Byswinger, the 6'4 senior, lone two points here for Eagles, scored by York. Davies looking for a team mate in the backcourt to Byswinger, or excuse me, to Hasbargan. Nick. In the front court, reverse pivots. Has bargain right hand side to York. York looking for it on the interior. York on the baseline. Spinning shot, no rebound here for Alpha Camara. Camara put back, can't get it to go. And a board to Leo, and we'll have a reach and foul. Leo with two points, two rebounds early. Foul on Fargo Davies. This will be Scarry, his first team second. Coming up at the half, we'll have the Pacatanas as well dancing with their parents, or proverbial, with their fathers. They always do that every year, kind of have some fun. So we'll show that to you here at the half, brought to you in part by First Class Mortgage. But where will we be once we get there with another 14 minutes in this first half? Tony Leal at the left wing. Leal behind the back to Glant for the two-pointer, rattling out. Kamara with the rebound, other side of the floor, Davies. In the front court to Beiswinger, now to Hasbargen as they reverse it, Camara Flex cut open, Beiswinger with the dribble, hanging, shooting, and scoring. Jackson Beiswinger with his first two points, but what a pass by Leo. Behind the back of the top of the key, the other side. Bonfis Loria, left wing. Davies looking to trap Bonfis here. Bonfis gives it now to McGregor. McGregor trying to get out and nearly, well, there it is, there is a steal. Other side, Davies can tie with a three. York at the right wing, leaves it up top now to Camara as it goes to the top of the key. Ball fake coming, right-hand side, rising, shooting, Scarry shot, no. Look at Camara rise for the offensive board. Hasborg, and we'll see it now. Left-hand side to York. York ripping it through. Ball goes right-hand side. Three-pointer by Swinger, no. Rebound here for Fargo. Davies eventually will lead to a board to the Packers. This is high flying early here for offensive and defensive rebounds. Eagles being active up top on this zone. Bonfist, Loria, dribble a handoff. McGregor weaving its way to Trough Grubin. Left handed side to Glant. He'll shoot the three. Yes, sir. Sam Glant with the triple. 10 to 4 Packers with 12.45 left in this first half of play. York in the front court. York will see it here at the right wing. Slips it. Kamara with the two handed rim rocking jam. Nice little slip pass there on the way to York, ball goes left-hand side, as this one will go on the skip now to Glant. Glant gives it to the baseline, rising, shooting, shot will be off the mark, rebound here to Beiswinger. Beiswinger will see it now on the other side of the floor, as this one will go right-hand side to Camara, back up top as they work it around. Right wing will see it there, now to Scarry, skip. Beiswinger coming with a couple hard dribbles, teardropper on the baseline, no, rebound Camara, and then Alpha lost it on his way up. Seven turnover here for Fargo Davies, but then York gets a steal. York on Loria, Euro step in the hands of Scarry, 
gives it now to Camara, who hits the deck, helter-skelter kind of a pace, and it'll be in over and back. Eleven forty-eight, and what's become a rock fight here in this first half of play as Tony Leal and Sam Glant will check out. Checking in the game for the West Fargo Packers. They will go a little bit deeper into the bench here. Wetterlin will check into the game also for West Fargo as they will bring in Seymour. Seymour bounce pass left-hand side is... This will be a foul here on Fargo Davies. Scarry will pick up his second team's third. And if you're at a Polcheski, by all means, you like how your team has came out and in a scrapper. And these are, again, talking with coaches in the EDC, you might score 80 points one night, and the next night it could be a 50 to 45 style of contest. You're just never sure. There's a across the way steal by Swinger to the paint for two. Jackson Beiswinger, points in transition. That's been a staple under Bart Manson and his Fargo Davies team from its inception. And we'll have a double dribble on the Packers. Going back through some of the history here, Fargo Davies, Brayton Machenbacher in 2019 was a Mr. Basketball finalist with paper in 2017. Tanner Kretschmann a decade ago was Mr. Basketball in 2014 here for Fargo Davies. The lone season that the Eagles won the championship at the Monad State Dome. Turnover here for Davies with Beiswinger as Tony Leo returns to the floor. Now for the West Fargo Packers, they've had some good players in their own right too in terms of Mr. Basketball finalists. Carter Bierencott, Luke Lennon in 2019, Pastorius in 2018 here in recent years. Wetterlin left hand side. There goes Tony Leo. Leo spinning on the baseline, throwing it up and gets fouled. I'm not sure how Leo was able to split not one, not two, but three Eagles on the baseline. Foul will be on Ranky, his first, team's fourth, as we'll have two free throws upcoming here for Tony Leo. 51 of 71 from the free throw line coming into tonight. Now make it 52 of 72 as he's one of two from the stripe. Free throw opportunity number two here for Leal. Packers up by four. So Leal goes two for two from the free throw line. West Fargo with the advantage here at the just under the 11 minute mark. York in the front court, pops a pass. Ranky, the sophomore, into the game here for Fargo Davies. Back to York on this little flex offense. York will see this. Leal trying to get the steal eventually comes up with it. West Fargo utilizes it. High post touch. Tony Leal on the baseline. Leal high off the window. Can't get it to go. Rebound here for Fargo Davies. By swinger pushes it right hand side to York. York taking a couple dribbles to the paint. Hanging. Count it. Got it. Good. York now with four. A chance for five at the line. Samick will pick up the foul, his first team's first of the first half of play. As Camaro will come back into the game alongside with him, we'll see Cameron Miller, no relation. Colton Ranke also on the floor here for Fargo Davies as Bonfist Loria comes back into the game for the Packers with Beckett foul, the 5'10 sophomore guard. Free throw attempt is up and good. York with five to lead the floor here for Fargo Davies as the Eagles are back within two. Packers in the front court here with Beckett foul. Foul will slip this one right wing to Seymour. Foul. Oh, nice little move by Beckett off the window. How do does Beckett do? Foul with a no-look pass and a little smooch on a Friday night off the window for two. Ball goes up top as they reverse it now to Alpha. Camara, right wing flex offense here for the Eagles to York. York with a jab step. York ripping it through. Gets walled off there by Samick. York continues with the basketball. Crow hop in, and there's a foul on the floor. Samick will pick up his second team second. This has been competitive from the start so far with these two teams. We haven't seen necessarily the offense in terms of rhythm for both Adam Polachewski and Bart Manson, but... There is a plethora of defense and hustle going on right now on the court. York taking a couple dribbles. York drive, kick, right-hand side, three-pointer on the way. Yes, sir! 
Nick Haspargan with his sixth made triple of the season, and we're not at that 14. Packers utilize it to Bonfis. Laurie at the left wing zone, defense left handed side. So this one will go into Becca Fowles' hand. Eventually, nearly a steal. Instead, Tony Leal with a hard dribble down the paint off the window for two. Tony Leal. He's got six. York in the front court now for Forgo Davies as they leave it left hand side. Trying to get a steal of Seymour here. Eventually, it'll go to Alpha Camara. Camara to York. York at the left wing, taking a dribble. Goes between the legs. York with the basketball. Driving kick, Camara rising from 15. Can't get the shooter's roll. Ball deflected out here to Aiden Samick. Other side of the floor, Bonfis Lori in transition. Get a little give and go there with Leo. Bonfis finds Leo here at the left wing, and Leo's going to get tied up, and the arrow will stay with West Fargo. Davies with Beiswinger to come back in while Glant and Trofgruben will return the floor. And the Eagles will go a little bit deeper down the bench and bring a 6-6 Holden Witte, the junior center. Ball will be on the baseline here for the West Fargo Packers and Landon Trofgruben. 8.38 left to play in the opening half. West Fargo leads it by two. Here in EDC boys basketball, Glant. Here at the top of the key, right hand side to Bonfis. Loria sees this. Bonfis to the paint. Bonfis to the 10. Bonfis will see a traveling violation. Fargo Davies with York here. Brings in the front court. Ball goes to Camara. Camara coming across to Witty. Witty finds it right hand side. Flex offense continues. Beiswinger rising, shooting off the backboard. Nor look at Kamara jump and get that one. Back to Beiswinger, left pocket three. Yes, sir. Beiswinger now is seven. Give the rebound and assist to Alpha. He's got five boards in the game. Kamara does not need to score to impact the game. He's that good defensively right there with the block shot. Just his length at six foot four. He plays like he's 10 foot seven. It feels like. Here goes York. York hard inside. Block shot. Speaking of defense, there's Tony Leal. Trough grouping in the front court. Left-handed side with the basketball. Ankle cross. Trough grouping at the left wing. Looking to rip it through, and we'll have a foul. And this could be on Camara. Foul will be on the aforementioned Alpha. His second. Team's fifth, so he's not got two on him and two on Scari here. And substitutions will be coming in the game for the Eagles with Caleb Scari as Camaro will check out. Big vital cog as Fargo Davies leads it by one point here where it's been a defensive style of opening 10 and a half minutes. Sam Glant, baseline Neal. Tony gives it and will have a foul on Fargo Davies with Caleb. And Scari now will have three. As Fargo Davies will make a substitution here as the Eagles will bring in the game and Cameron Miller, the sophomore. Far Manson has ran a nine player rotation. Well, for the West Fargo Packers, they've ran about nine so far as well. Left hand inside to McGregor. McGregor will utilize it left hand side to Leo to the baseline now to Trough Grubin. Ball out of play and will stay with the West Fargo Packers. West Fargo with McGregor to inbound the basketball. Now to Loria, Bonfis to Leo. Leo back to Bonfis, deep 24 footer off the front iron rebound here to Miller. Miller brings in the front court. Cameron, right handed side of Beiswinger. Beiswinger gets walled off by Glant, but shoots in. This will be off the front iron board coming down to Landon Trough Grubin. Tony Leo back to Trough Grubin. Zone continues by Fargo Davies. Trop Grubin on the baseline, slips the pass now to Glant. Glant gives up a three for a 14 footer. Glant with the two pointer. Sam Glant now with five, and the Packers are up by one. First side of the floor goes Fargo Davies to the left wing. 
by Swinger. Back up top to Hasbargan on the interior on the slip. Banging his way, Witty. Nice up and under on Leo for two. Holden Witty with points off the bench for head coach Bart Matson and the Eagles. Leo to Bonfis, Loria, baseline, McGregor, left pocket three. This one will be off the iron. Ball deflected out in the hands of a Eagle. Miller working with it. Miller hard, and that's going to be an offensive or a blocking. They're going to call a blocking foul here at the entire West Fargo sideline. Cannot believe it. Foul will be on Glant, his first team's third. Or say was in the act of shooting as Miller goes to the free throw line. Cameron, 6 of 11 from the stripe. He'll go to the line to shoot two. As Miller will be going to the stripe as Adam Polachewski talking with our officials on that particular play. That was a hard collision, which has been that kind of a definition of a game so far where, again, neither team has combined to get 40 points between these two yet. Free throw opportunity is good for Miller. Fargo Davies, two of two from the free throw line early on. For the West Fargo Packers, they're two of three. West Fargo has hit two threes. Fargo Davies has also hit two. Second free throw, no, but we'll have an offensive foul on Havelka. His first team seventh, and we should walk to the other end and shoot some bonuses moving forward here on the make one to get one, and this will be with Tony Leal. Leo, five points, two rebounds here for the 6'5 senior. A chance now to cut into that deficit and also potentially take a tie with 6.09 left to play here in this opening half. Make sure you stay tuned to our First Class Mortgage Halftime Show. We'll recap the girls' contest, let you know some finals across the way throughout the evening, that and more, and take a look at the first half numbers as Leo goes three of three from the free throw line. Free throw opportunity. Number two upcoming here. Leo can't get it to go rebound here to Miller. Other side of the floor goes Fargo Davies. Skip left hand side York. York on the baseline, reverse pivots, rising. High arching rainbow three, no good on the way for Hasbarg. And, and now it's going to beat West Fargo with the basketball with Glant. Glant in the front court. Seymour, ball. Well, with Glant gets intercepted by York. York making his way off Leo for two. York has seven, and the Eagles are up by three. Seymour in the backcourt. Now crosses timeline, right hand side to Trough Grubin. Trough Grubin bounce pass and back to back turnovers. Fargo Davies with Whitty with the steal. Leo trying to get the ball right back. It's still loose, and a timeout for Bart Manson. 5.21 left to play in the opening half. Eagles want to talk it over with the timeout here on your live event. I'm Freya Angen. I'm confident during the match, and when it's time for college, I'm confident Bank of North Dakota will help me make good student loan decisions. Visit bnd.nd.gov slash confident. I'm Lily Bell. I'm confident on the court, and when it's time for college, I'm confident Bank of North Dakota will help me make good student loan decisions. Visit bnd.nd.gov slash confident. As we come back on our halftime show, 22 to 19, Fargo Davies leads over the West Fargo Packers here on yourliveevent.com. Davies trying to get to seven and three on the season with the win before they battle Horace next week. Well, for the West Fargo Packers, they're trying to get to five and six on the year with a win before they entertain Fargo South and the Bruins. If they win tonight against North, they would be leading the EDC in boys basketball. Jumper no by York, rebound put back yes by Fargo Davies. Liddy, four points off the bench here. Eagles with their largest lead of the game at five. Seymour in the front court trying to find Leo. High post, Leo with a dribble spinning off the window, no. And a rebound with Witty and a foul on Trough Grubin. His first and the team's for it. Holden Witty's played some valuable minutes here off the bench for head coach Bart Manson in terms of his ability to be a nuisance defensively, get some rebounds and get some post touches as Leo will check out and Bonfis Laurie will come into the contest. Full court pressure defense, the Packers trying to get the steal, nearly got it, and then they give it right back. Left-handed side, Eagles bounce pass, this will be on the baseline, and we'll have a timeout for Bart Manson, his second to 
save a possession here in this first half of play. 4.43 left to play in the opening half. Davies at the ball and we return. High school basketball here today on yourliveevent.com. 24-19 Fargo Davies with the edge. Tied at 14. Then back and forth. Neither team has led more by than more by a couple possessions. As we go right hand side to York. York with a hard dribble. Trying to slip it. Leaves it right wing. Ripping it through. Crow hop off his Loria got up in the air and counted for a late and one. Nick Hasbargen with the old school shot fake up. Bompfus to jump, and then Loria picks up the foul, his first and the team's fifth. A good ball fake and a good shot fake can do wonders in the game of basketball. And that was able to work out well for Hasbargen. Missing the rebound, good board by Sam Glantz. Other side of the floor, Packers been stuck at 19 now for the last couple of minutes. Bonfist, bounce pass, high post coming in, Simon McGregor, and there's a foul. When he looks to be called with the foul here, he will be his first, team's eighth, and going to the line to shoot two will be Keaton McGregor. McGregor averaging eight points per contest, and for the West Fargo Packers, trying to get something going here offensively before we get to the half. Free throw opportunity is off the mark. Peter Havelka will come back into the game for the Eagles. As Woody gets a nice round of applause from the Fargo Davies faithful in attendance here tonight. Second free throw attempt upcoming here for McGregor. Is up and rattling in. So McGregor goes one of two from the free throw line. Fargo Davies leads it by six. Full court pressure defense for West Fargo. Ball goes to York. York gets walled off there. York, nice dribble to the paint, and he finishes for two. York went one-on-one -on -one with Laurie, and he's able to finish right at the 10. Seymour in the front court here for West Fargo. Gives it to Glant, ball fake back to Seymour here on the baseline. Seymour to Glant. Glant looking for it on the interior to Laurie, and there's a steal. Good hands by Fargo Davies. Both teams with 10-plus turnovers in this first half. Miller in the front court takes the ball screen. Miller will handle it here, looking to spin. Bounce pass, nearly stolen by Trough Grubin. Left hand inside of Hasbarg, and here zips it now to Beiswinger. Beiswinger from 13 feet, got it to go. Jackson Beiswinger now with nine. Eagles with the first time today, lead it by double digits. I can show you that they are can play both sides of the floor defensively as Tony Leal will come back with Beckett foul. Fargo Davies will go a little bit deeper into their respective bench here for the Eagles. As they will bring Charlie Metzger, the 5'8 junior to the floor. As Metzger will get a run here for head coach Bart Manson. Glant with the right wing three, rattling out. Board coming to Peter Havelka. Other side of the floor, the aforementioned Metzger for two. Charlie Metzger with the field goal here. That gets everybody off their feet from a Davies point of view. Bonfus Laurie, a left-hand side of timeout for head coach Adam Polchewski. We'll break with them. 3-0-3 left to play here in the opening half. Fargo Davies leads it by 12. College goes far beyond the buildings, classrooms, and the tests. It's about making new friends, trying something different, and discovering your purpose. It's about getting involved, supporting your community, and joining the conversation. It's about learning, growing, and finding your passion. This is not your average classroom. This is the University of Minnesota Crookston. High school basketball here today on yourliveevent.com. Since it was 17-16 with 7.34 left to play in the opening half, you take a look at the last 
four and a half minutes. It's been a 15 to four run here for the Fargo Davies Eagles. That's been the difference maker so far here in this contest as that was the first time out here for head coach Adam Polcheski. Bart Manson has three remaining. Packers with five team fouls. Fargo Davies has eight. And for West Fargo, I haven't said too much in terms of just an easy bucket here tonight. Wanting to change, it's McGregor got it from the left baseline triple. Keaton McGregor with his second three, give the assist to Leal. Keaton now has seven. Packers back within single digits. York gets cut off. York guarded by Loria, leaves it. Right hand side to Metzger. Metzger weaving his way to Beiswinger. Left baseline triple for the answer kick, and it's go look at York hustle after that loose ball. York rising just inside the three-point line. Jumper no. Rebound to Bonfis Loria. Leal in the front court. Finds Loria to Glantz. Glant with a hard dribble down the paint. Right-handed shot. No rebound. Bonfis foul on the floor. And we'll have a one-and-one one upcoming with Loria. Bonfis 16 of 28 from the free throw line here this season. Make one to get one as Havelka picks up the foul. Free throw opportunity here for Bonfis. Packers will miss the free throw. Rebound coming down to Fargo Davies and will have a foul. It will be on Keaton McGregor. His first team sixth after the board across the way from Fargo Davies with Hasbargen. Eagles will see this one with York. York in the front court. Right-handed side with the basketball to Metzger. Metzger with a hard dribble in the paint, slips across. Regains possession out of York. York looking for a teammate up top as they work it around the horn. Has bargain. Good D by McGregor hustling back to bat that one out of bounds as we'll stay with the West Fargo Packers. Contest is just over a half hour old here with under two minutes to play in this Opening half, EDC boys basketball tonight here from West Fargo High School. Eagles with York taking it to the free throw line. Passes across the way, stolen here by McGregor. And the pass, and Metzger is going to literally go out of the gym. They had the doors open on the baseline, and he literally ran out of the gym and looks to be okay. Fortunately... The doors that he ran through were already open and he didn't have to barrel roll or do like a radio, a rodeo style of barrel roll out of the gym. You see that little door that says PAC, then it's open. That's exactly where Metzger went right through. Be like trying to go through the start finish line of a marathon trying to finish. And here goes the aforementioned Metzger. Metzger to the paint. Oh, Metzger's the X Factor. Charlie Metzger, now with four. How about this? By the smallest guy on the court. He's five foot eight for crying out loud. Left-handed side, McGregor, and he'll have a foul with Beiswinger. Two free throws upcoming for West Fargo. His first, team's 10th. Two free throws here for Keaton McGregor. I'm telling you what, RDK Enterprise's X Factor could potentially be Metzger if he keeps this one up. As we're nearing the end of this first half of play. Free throw opportunity is good. Second free throw attempts for McGregor, who's two of three from the free throw line, has six points. Second free throw attempt on the way for McGregor is upcoming. Second one is good. So McGregor goes two for two from the free throw line, has nine points. Packers down by nine. York in the front court, right wing. Takes a couple of screens. York to the baseline to Metzger. Metzger leaves it right hand side, has bargain, slips it, and it's a turnover. Bonfis Loria goes the other way. Bonfis pops off the window, rebound underneath to Metzger. Metzger ripping it through. Eagles with York. York at the left-hand side, bounce pass on the interior, Havelka, Havelka banging his way, trying to get through two Packers, does for two. Peter Havelka with his first field goal of the evening. 
Loria to Glant. Glant in the front court here, leaves it to McGregor to the baseline. Tony Leal at pocket three. That'll go long. Rebound here to Hasbargan, his third. For Fargo Davies and Bart Manson. They'll look to take the first shot or the final shot of the first half if they can, but instead we'll see a foul here and Fargo Davies will be going to the free throw line for a one and one. Lori will pick up his second team seventh and two free throws here for York. York with nine points so far here today, a 67% free throw shooter throughout the season. Colton Ranky will check in. Free throw opportunity on the way here for Fargo Davies with York. York buries the first, now in double digits with 10. Halfway to a season average here for the Eagles. Free throw attempt number two on the way. And York able to go two for two. West Fargo's got now 14.7 seconds left in the half. Sam Glant in the front court. Glant guarded by Metzger up top to Trough Grubin. Landon finds it to McGregor. Ball gets skipped across the way. Nice find to Leal for two. Tony Leal gets the two points, and that's how we'll end our first half of play. It's the visiting Fargo Davies Eagles 38. The West Fargo Packers 27. Our halftime show brought to you in part by our friends at First Class Mortgage is coming up next here on yourliveevent.com. Every Wednesday night at 7, watch the YourLiveEvent.com Coaches Show presented by the Hillsborough Economic Development Corporation. Stay up to date with the latest goings on in the region as we'll hear from area coaches in North Dakota and Minnesota. Plus, we'll highlight area high school seniors and their achievements in the classroom and on the court with our senior spotlight. That's the YourLiveEvent.com Coaches Show presented by the Hillsborough Economic Development Corporation. Wednesday nights at 7 on YourLiveEvent.com. For 20 years, 702 Communications has been connecting people and businesses to the world through internet, telephone, and TV. And as your needs have changed, so has 702. Our dedication to our community and customers runs deep. So when you call, we listen. And you can trust that we'll never stop working to bring the latest technology to our friends and neighbors. Thank you for 20 years in business. The best is yet to come. In Hope, North Dakota, we aren't just a town, we're a community, one that you can be proud of, where you and your family can grow. With available jobs, affordable housing, a golf course and pool, the Sportsman Club and great educational opportunities. There hasn't been a better time to join the Hope community, ideally located between Fargo, Grand Forks and Jamestown. For more information, go to www.hopend.com. Live, work and play in Hope, North Dakota. As we come back here with the Pacatanas and their Paca Papas, as they like to say here in West Fargo, for their halftime dance routine. 27 points for the West Fargo Packers, 38 here for the Fargo Davies Eagles. It's high school basketball tonight here on yourliveevent.com. Fargo Davies with the lead. Eight players in the scoring column with 18 rebounds and two threes on the opposite side for the West Fargo Packers. They have five players in the scoring column. Three made threes and six of 10 from the free throw line. 12 turnovers, nine rebounds. Fargo Davies again, 13 turnovers and 18 rebounds here tonight. Individual numbers for the Fargo Davies Eagles led by the 11 points of York. York also three of three from the stripe. Nine points for Beiswinger with a made triple. You have five points for Hasbargan with three rebounds. Four points for Charlie Metzger off the bench and Holden Witte. 
Two points then for, v for Peter Havelka and Alpha Kamara, two points, five boards, and Cameron Miller with a point as well with three rebounds. Again, for Fargo Davies, led by the nine points here for Jackson Beiswinger. From there, the West Fargo Packers, nine points for Tony Lee with a couple of rebounds, nine points for Keaton McGregor, three of four from the stripe with two made threes, five points for Sam Glant, two for Beckett Fow, and two points for Bonfist Loria. Again, the West Fargo Packers led by the nine of Leo and the nine of McGregor. This is our halftime show brought to you in part by First Class Mortgage. It's more than their company name. It's the way they do business. Go to firstclasscorp.com. Back after this as we'll recap what happened earlier in the day on the girls' side of things between the Packers and the Eagles here on your live event. If you want help from a firm that has integrity and respect, strives for excellence, and is interested in the betterment of the community, look no farther than Onset Twitchell Attorneys. Our team of attorneys has dedicated and talented professionals who are committed to improving the lives of their clients and providing custom legal solutions with integrity and excellence. We have offices in West Fargo, Hillsboro, Maddox, Page, and Castleton. Or visit our website, www.onsteadlaw.com. This is Chris from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. Manage what you can to overcome what you cannot. Farming is all about preparing your operation to be successful when given an opportunity. Invest a few minutes and bring in your seed meters to be reconditioned and calibrated. We have some room, so give us a call and we can help you overcome those simple obstacles. RDK Enterprises, 636-2119 or planterdoc.com. Buying a new home, but worried about the interest rate and terms from your bank? At First Class Mortgage, we'll find a mortgage that fits your needs. Shopping national banks and other lenders for the lowest rate and most affordable terms. Saving you time and money. So all you need to worry about is enjoying your new home. First Class Mortgage, our expertise, your peace of mind. Put an expert to work for you. Call today. Where other banks see risk, Bell sees opportunity. As an SBA preferred lender, we make loan decisions locally because we know your potential. When Bob and Dan from Alderon Industries came to us for a loan, we saw them. One of the first things I realized with Bob and Dan, they were really hardworking people and they were passionate about their business. When I meet with Bell, I feel seen. They saw our vision and then they made it happen. Your small business is not just your job, it's your whole world. We'll help you get it right. High school basketball here today on YourLiveEvent.com. First class mortgage halftime show, 38-27. Fargo Davies with the advantage for the West Fargo Packers. Take a look in the girls game earlier today. 88-48, Fargo Davies defeats the West Fargo Packers. Their starting five scored 82 of the 88 points for Fargo Davies, and they hit 13 three-pointers to boot. 22 points for Ashton Safransky and Fallon Paginante with 18 points as well. West Fargo led by the 17 of Briley Peterson. Scores on the girls' side. Cheyenne over Grant Fork Central, 63 to 41, and Fargo North took care of business over Fargo South, 74 to 29. So Red Rivers 8-0 in the conference on the girls' side with Horace and Davies tied at 6-1. Cheyenne and North 4-3. Shanley 2-5. West Fargo tied with Central at 1-6, and, and South is 0-7. So, again, those were finals from earlier today on the girls' side of things. Out-of-town scoreboard on the boys' side. North at Fargo South, as we alluded to, on the girls' side, but that also is going on on the boys' side here tonight. Red River at Grand Forks, Horace, then tomorrow, West Fargo Cheyenne makes their way out west to play Bismarck Legacy. That, again, EDC boys' basketball here tonight. North and South. The winner holds that number one spot in the EDC regardless of any other outcome. Cheyenne again 5-2, and two. Davies at 4-2. and two. West Fargo right on their heels at 3-3 three and three with Central at 3-4. and four. Red Rivers 2-4, and four, then Horace 1-5, and, and Chanley at 1-6. and six. That does it for our halftime show brought to you in part by First Class Mortgage. It's the way they do business. Whether you're buying a new home or refinancing your existing mortgage, their dedicated team takes the time to understand your financial situation. Go online to firstclasscorp.com. 
That again is firstclasscorp.com or check their location out on 13th Avenue and 25th Street in Fargo. We're back after this with second half action as the Fargo Davies Eagles led by the nine of Jackson Beiswinger, while for West Fargo led by the nine of Leo and McGregor. Back with this after this from West Fargo. Congratulations, Chase, on your award. Leo, Leo at the left wing, couple hard dribbles in the paint, backdoor cut, and a block shot by Sim. From all of us with your live event, powered by Halstead Telephone Company and r &J Broadcasting Incorporated. The Haugo into Bruin Territory 40, little shake and bake 30, Haugo could go. It's another house call for Peter Haugo. Congratulations, Chase Miller. High school basketball here tonight on yourliveevent.com. Fargo Davies up by 11 points. Their season average is 76 a game off for West Fargo. Their average also 76 a game offensively. The Eagles head coach by Bart Manson. West Fargo head coach by Anna Polcheski. Davies with one state championship in program history. Back in 2014, they've made 10 of the 11 state tournament appearances here over the past 11 seasons. Off of the West Fargo Packers, four state championships in program history, most recently coming in 2021, where they top minded high from the Bismarck Event Center. 32 state appearances in program history for the West Fargo Packers. Chase Miller, Chris Crick here for this second half action. As Fargo Davies will start with the rock, as this will go left hand side to S. Bargain to the baseline by Swinger. Dirk Nowitzki has kind of a shot on the baseline for two. By Swinger. With the two points there, and now in double digits with 11. So him and York in double digits. Bonfis Loria looking for a teammate. Finds a cutting McGregor. McGregor to the 10, blocked by Camara. Rebound put back by Leo, but blocked in by Havelka. By Zwinger. We'll see this one. As hitting the deck there as McGregor might have rolled his ankle. Other side of the floor, left hand and layup. No rebound comes down to Tony Leal, his third. McGregor, right-handed shot, can't find it. Rebound on the interior, and we'll have a foul. And the rebound here for Hasbarg in his fourth. Foul will be on Trough Group in his second team's first of this half. So Glant Loria with Tony Leo, McGregor, and Trough Group in the original starting five for the Packers. York on the floor with Kamara, alongside with him, by swinger Hasbarg. And you also have Avelka, their original starting five. Triple by Beisringer, no. Rebound by Leo, goes behind the max. Stolen by Kamara, and Kamara missed the rip-down jam. Bonfis Loria in the front court. Gets the ball, power dribble, going straight up. On the way there was Peter Havelka to block that shot. And Fargo Davies corrals it right back. Very reminiscent to the start we had of the game. York. Lost it on the way up, and there's a foul as York will go to the free throw line. The foul will come across the arm as the foul will be the other side. This will be on Glant, his second, team second. Two free throw attempts on the way for the 6'1 senior. York. Now 4-4 four four from the free throw line, looking to get a Baker's dozen in scoring with another made field goal. And Davies starting to separate this game a little bit by 14 points. Free throw attempt number two is good. York and Fargo Davies, their largest lead the game here at 15, quickly in the front court as they go. This will be left-hand side to Glant as they leave it now to Trough Group. And top of the key, Loria, three, tickles are twine. Bonfus Loria with his 10th three-pointer of the season, Packers back within 12. York in the front court, doesn't take the screen. Davies, Beiswinger to Kamara off his hands and turnover here for the Eagles. 
Game number 10 of the season for Fargo Davies. Well, this is contest number 11 here for the West Fargo Packers. You get to the month of February, and the season really starts to shrink awfully quickly as we're just a little over a month before the EDC tournament gets underway. Glant bounce pass to Loria around the horn. Trough group an open shooting off the front iron rebound. Leo, Leo ripping it through with an eagle on him, and he somehow, did he get the shot off? He did. Tony Leo with the rebound, and he will go to line to shoot two. Foul will be on Havelka. Foul will be on him for his second team's first of the half. Free throw opportunity on the way is no good here by Leo. Second free throw attempt upcoming. Leo so far now three of six from the free throw line, trying to get to double digits in scoring. And Leo's able to do so. Leo now at 10 to lead the floor for West Fargo. Packers down by 11 at the half, and it's at 11. The opening two and a half minutes of the second half of play is Glant. That's that one into the front row. Watch out for the popcorn as it will stay here for the Fargo Davies. Eagles will see this one with Beiswinger on the inbounds as they leave it now to York. York with a dribble, block shot by Leo, but Tony will get called for the foul. Leo will pick up his first. That'll be the team's third, and York goes back to the free throw line as Bart Manson is having a little conference call with the four other players on the far sideline here. Free throw attempt here for York is good. Free throw opportunity number two. As York able to go two for two from the free throw line. Eagles back up by 13, full court pressure defense. Right hand side goes Glant. Glant will handle the basketball here back up top to Troth Grubin. Glant right wing rising, shooting, and Glant is scoring. Sam Glant hits his second three of the contest. He's got eight in the Packers. Here's the proverbial hill to climb, right? Nine to 10 points. Can they get it down to two possessions? Well, that'll help, there's a turnover off the hands of Beiswinger. Davies with 15 turnovers, 13 for West Fargo. As you will have checking back into the game, Holden Witte here for Fargo Davies. Beckett foul comes back into the game here for West Fargo. Glantz on the inbounds, gets it in the front court. Glant hands it off now to McGregor. McGregor reverse pivots, bounce pass to Beckett. Foul the right wing. Foul looking for a teammate. There's going to be a steal, and Fargo Davies will work with it the other way. Good job by McGregor hustling back, and this will be off of the aforementioned Keaton as it will stay with Fargo Davies. Davies to inbound the basketball here on the baseline. And we'll have a illegal screen on Fargo Davies. So Witte will pick up his third, team second. And for the West Fargo Packers, they'll have to contend with the full court pressure defense. West Fargo with Beckett foul. Leaves it now to McGregor to Bonfis Loria. Loria back up top as they work it around the horn. McGregor to Loria. Loria on the baseline, on the drive, looking for the reversal. Shot off the iron, ball tapped out, and it will stay with the West Fargo Packers. This will be inbounded here with Keaton McGregor. McGregor on the slip to Leo, and we'll have a foul. Woody will pick up his fourth team's third, and Leo will go to the free throw line in what has become of snail's pace of a game here in the last about minute and a half of actual game time. But when you're going to get free throws, when the ball goes out of play, not up and down tempo, this is what you would expect in basketball at particular times. Is coming in here for Alpha Camaro. Back into the game here for Fargo Davies. Free throw attempt again with Leal is good. As Seymour will check in again for West Fargo. Free throw attempt is good on the second for Leal. 
Leal now with 12, Packers back with an eight. But again, the question is, can they get it to two possessions? And there's gonna be a foul with McGregor, his second. And when these fouls keep mounting at this point, the bonus could potentially be a large factor in this game as we move forward. With 14-28 left here in this second half. Seymour nearly got a steal. It was nearly a walking violation. Beiswinger spinning his way to the paint. Jumper no, rebound here on the inside by Seymour. Then there's a steal and there goes Camara. Alpha Camara with the two points. He's got four. Full court pressure defense continues by the Eagles. McGregor in the front court, bounce pass. Here goes Beckett foul, high post touch. Seymour, nice fine glance. This would help West Fargo, three, no. And we'll have a foul and this will be on Fargo Davies. Nick Hasbargan will pick up his first and the team's fourth. It's a physical ball game and the refs will allow you to try to figure some stuff out, but sooner or later, once you get the extension of a forearm or an elbow, you're gonna get called and that's exactly what happened. McGregor, right wing three, it swirls out, ball out of play towards Fargo Davies. Full court pressure defense here for West Fargo. Which team's gonna get on a little 7-0-8-0 run? For Davies, if they can do it, they would start. As McGregor gets called for the foul here, his third, team's fifth. Davies does it, that might be too much for West Fargo to potentially overcome if they could get up by 17, 18 points here over the next couple of minutes. Well, if you're the Packers, again, trying to get it to two possessions or under. That's the main thing here for West Fargo. It's been hanging around this 12 to eight point margin for the last couple of minutes of game action. As with it will be York driving kick, right hand side by Zwinger dishes to the left baseline. With it there is gonna be Hasbargan on the skip. York at the free throw line. York right hand side to Beiswinger. Beiswinger slips it inside. Kamara who rises for the jam. It's the second dunk for the senior tonight. Good patient offense for Fargo. Davies results in a dunk. Here goes Pompis Loria, left hand side to Glant. Glant gives up a three pointer on the drive. Now to Beckett foul. Beckett ripping it through. Foul with a shot fake, slips it. Seymour extra pass. Loria rising, shooting, and that one will be off the iron. Rebound by Glant off of who? And it'll be off of Fargo Davies. Good hustle. And this is what it's kind of been here tonight. Or do we have a foul? And we'll have a foul on a technical here. Two free throws, and the foul will be tabbed against Fargo Davies here. And it looks to be on Beiswinger. So two free throws and the ball. So this could be an interesting differential point of the game right now is going to the free throw line to shoot will be Tony Leal, and he'll be shooting some free throws. Wells Fargo, well, a chance to chip into this deficit right now with Tony Leal, free throw attempt is short. Free throw attempt number two upcoming, and as we've alluded to, both teams have committed fouls and they've been rightfully called. But the problem is for both teams, if you wanna find some pace as Leal goes 0 for two from the line, you have only one foul to give before it's the bonus from here on out, and that's what basketball fans were kind of curious of with this three-class system. How is it changing the game around in terms of strategy, in terms of the pace, where in A and B, it resets after the quarters? Nice little move, can't get it to go. Leo put back, can't get it to go. Leo another time, and one! Uh, if you can't try the first time, try and try again. And Leo able to finish it off. He has 14 points on the night. That was the last foul for Davies that they had to give. Foul will be on Scari. That'll be his fourth. And Tony Leo goes back to the free throw line here, trying to convert the and one opportunity for West Fargo. Free throw attempt is no good. Rebound here to Alpha. Camara, 6.6 rebounds, and if you're Fargo Davies right now, take a cool, calm, collective breath and finally have the ball offensively. Near side goes by Swinger, by Swinger to the baseline. On the interior, Leo gets a steal. Tony in the backcourt here to Seymour. Seymour brings in the frontcourt, right-hand side to Glant. 
Glant between the rings, ankle cross. Kamara trying to get the steal, ends up with Leal on the inside, and he bangs his way for another two-pointer. Leal with 16 on the night. Packers, again, like a broken record, back with an eight. Bison winger, left wing. The Packer fans chanting defense across the way. Bicewinger trying to set up the offense. Guarded there by Glant. Nice little hesitation. Bicewinger, teardropper. Oh, cool. Calm collective for the 6'4 senior. Bicewinger now with 13. Buffis Loria lost it and will eventually get a tie up, and the arrow will stay Packer basketball. Trough, Grubin, and McGregor to come in for West Fargo. Well, Miller will check back in the game here for Fargo Davies. Packers slated to inbound it with Landon Trough Grubin on the far sideline here for West Fargo as they will handle it now to Beckett foul. Foul in the front court, top of the key. Beckett will see a foul, and here's the bonus. Miller will get tabbed with the foul, his first team seventh, and all of a sudden, the free throw line is potentially our Artie Canada Prize's feature precision play of the game. If you make them, you could bury the other team. If you miss them, that could be the reason why you lose. And foul makes the first. Second free throw attempt upcoming here for Beckett foul. And the West Fargo Packers who are down by single digits just to make it an eight point game again. And Beckett foul is able to do so. Every time West Fargo has got to this point, Davies has answered rather quickly to get it back up to 10. Camara on the inside, jumper, has bargain off the front iron. Oh, look at Camara get that offensive board. Kick out by swinger three, no. It's still tapped eventually in the hands of Bonfis Loria, and there'll be a foul on Fargo Davies. Bonfis will tell the strike for a one and one. This will be on Camara, and that's a large foul because he picks up his third here for Fargo Davies. To the free throw line will be Bonfis Loria here for the make one to get one variety. For the West Fargo Packers, four field goals in this second half, two of them from the land of three. Fargo Davies also four field goals in this second half, but it's all inside the arc. Loria, free throw attempt rattling out. Board comes down to York. And York and the Eagles will walk it in the front court. York four points in the half, all from the free throw line, 15 on the night. Miller, left-hand side, bounce pass, Camara. Camara rising from the right elbow, in and out, no. Rebound, put back, and we'll have some free throws. Asbargan goes to line, five points, five rebounds, 0 for 1 from the stripe. Foul will come across on McGregor. His fourth and the team's sixth. So from here on out, both teams will be in the bonus. As a 6'1 senior, Hasbargan toes the stripe. In contest that's just over an hour old here today inside West Fargo High School. A little bit different of the first half where we saw a lot of up and down, back and forth. And again, with the way that both teams are kind of playing like bumper cars, but without the bumpers right now is why we're getting all these of whistles and fouls in this helter-skelter pace that was in the first half has came to a screeching halt in the second half. Free throw opportunity, has bargain one of two from the stripe. Can't remember in the last five minutes of game action that we saw more than two or three possessions before we had a whistle. We haven't just seen them up and down, up and down, up and down more than about once here in the second half. Right hand side, Beckett foul, right pocket, three! Tickles a twine. Foul now is seven. Packers, here you go. Got it to a two possession game. Right handed side, York will handle the rock. York goes behind the back, good hedge. Ball goes to the baseline, by swinger, by swinger. Nice little slip across the way, stolen by Tony Leo. Leo gives it to Bonfis Laurie, and the Packers will set up the offense. So a lot of time left in this one, over 10 and a half to play. Loria, right hand side to foul. Foul with it, nice little pass to Leo off of his hands and it'll be a turnover for West Fargo. Right move by Becca Foul to try to get that pass to Tony Leal and we'll see the full court pressure defense come here for Fargo Davies as they will see it against West Fargo that is. 
York in the front court, leaves it right hand side by Swinger. By Swinger reverses back to the right of the key. They work it around the horn to York. York, couple dribbles to the baseline, jumper from 14, got it to go. York with 17 on the night, Eagles lead it by eight. Loria, left hand side, Davies with that extension of the 2-3 zone, really getting in passing lanes, foul, teardropper with the answer. Now Beckett foul has been the answer offensively here in this second half. He has five points in the last about 90 seconds here for West Fargo, back to six points. As so we have the free throw line, zips it past to Beiswinger. Beiswinger, guarded by Seymour, inside shot, no rebound to Tony Leo. Leo with his eighth rebound, and Bonfis Loria will bring it in the front court. As he does, right hand side to Beckett, foul looking for Loria. York gets the steal instead. York will see a foul and will have some free throws, or at least one. Troff Gerben will pick up the foul, his third. 17 turnovers for both teams tonight as York will go to the free throw line. Make one to get one as Laurie will check out, Glant will check in. Off for Fargo Davies, Peter Havelka will check in and Camara will check out. 38-27 at the half, so as Fargo has cut into that margin just like you needed to, you're down by 11, got it to six. Davies with York. Well, he can be the closer here tonight for Fargo Davies. So far with seven points in the second half, 18 in the game for a game high. Second free throw attempt on the way for the senior guard. York buries another one. York has not missed a free throw tonight. Nine of nine here for York. Trough Grubin in the front court. Right-handed side to Seymour. Seymour at the right wing, bounce pass Leo. Leo able to spin, but will have a traveling violation. And Adam Polcheski says, yep, as he puts his head up and down as Tony kind of looks over to him just to make sure it was the right official call. When your coach says it was a travel, you know it was a travel. Here goes Beinswinger, right wing. Beinswinger with the pass now to York at the Packer emblem. York probing, taking a screen. Here comes the help by Seymour. York right-handed side, by swinger, right wing three on the way. No good rebound here for Seymour. Good defensive board. Glant in the front court in transition. Glant looks for a teammate. Ball gets deflected and on the Packers with another empty possession here in the last 60 seconds. Left-handed side, a little 1-4 UCLA cut and Tony Leal will put a Roadblock in front of Byswinger, but Byswinger will take that detour to the free throw line. Byswinger with 13 points. Foul will be on Tony Leal, his second team's eighth of the contest. Both teams with eight fouls here in the second half as Byswinger goes to the stripe. Byswinger on this season, 10 of 16 from the free throw line, and he will go for the one and one opportunity. Make sure you stay to our post-game show where we will get to our Tommy's Express Car Wash post-game show. Take a look at the final numbers in this one and hear from a vic victorious player here tonight, that and more. Beckett foul at the right wing, bounce pass Leo. Leo, nice little step across, can't finish, and then Leo will collect a foul. By Swinger will go to line. Leo will pick up his third. It's kind of like an old man move, and I mean that in a good way. How Leo kind of made his way to the paint. And it's your noon basketball or old man basketball as Leo just kind of slowly able to go left to right. But now we'll have another free throw attempt here for Beiswinger. Now their team has necessarily made the most of their free throws outside of one particular person in York here, where again, he's perfect. Wes well, Fargo has a couple more where you'd like to get one or two back and maybe instead of a nine point game, it's down to a five point game potentially. Free throw opportunity, number two on the way for Beiswinger is off the front iron, rebound goes to Seymour. Front court here, Packers call out the offense. In and Samick, bounce pass, high post, Seymour. Seymour will see it here to Beckett Fowl, who does a complete 360. Back now to Samick. And in, bounce pass, nice little find Seymour to Leo. Leo with the two-pointer. 
Timeout here for head coach Hannah Paul Chesky. Leal now has 18. We'll break with them. 7.51 left to play in the second half. Packers back within seven. Davies with the Rock when we return. Welcome to the Empire. We have open gym times and two full courts with six basketball hoops. Court rentals are available. You can even host your own tournaments. Memberships are available. The Emperor's Club. Hone your skills and improve your game. Basketball and volleyball training classes are available now. The Empire, Fargo's newest sports complex. At Enbridge, we believe sustainability is the foundation of our success. How well we perform as a steward of our environment, a safe operator of essential energy infrastructure, a good neighbor, and a diverse employer defines our success. Learn more about Enbridge's environmental, social, and governance commitments and our Indigenous Reconciliation Plan at Enbridge.com. High school basketball here tonight on YourLiveEvent.com. Both teams have three timeouts remaining. Next jump ball will favor Fargo Davies. Eagles led by the 19 points of Daniel York, who's 9 of 9 from the free throw line. West Fargo tabbed with the 18 points of Tony Leal, who's working as he's averaging a double-double on the season, 18 points and 9 rebounds. Full court pressure defense from West Fargo. York. Will utilize this into the front court now for the Eagles. York making his way to the paint. Nice little slip pass at the very end. Two points is good. Havelka is a beneficiary of that pass from York. Other side, Glant just continued to cut as they were looking for the pass there from Beckett Foul. And it goes out of bounds here for Wes Forgo. Something Adam Paul Chesky kind of alluded to earlier on this season back in December going, we're a youthful team. We have some guys of varsity experience, but then, you know, you have some sophomores and maybe some underclassmen who don't have a ton of varsity plays. So it's just learning the game of basketball against some of these elder classmen as Havelka gets another two points as the help comes and he is wide open. And all of a sudden the Eagles are up by 11. Leo with the basketball, and there's a foul coming across with Byswinger. He'll pick up his third. And that'll be the team's ninth, and Leo goes back to the free throw line. And back to a double digit game we go for the moment, barring on what Leo's able to do from the stripe. And Leo misses the free throw. Second free throw attempt upcoming here for Tony Leo. And substitution as McGregor will check back into the game. Also with Aiden Samick now for the West Fargo Packers. Second free throw attempt here for Leo. And he buries it. Leo now with 19. Packers got it to 10. Fargo Davies in the front court. Teardropper on the baseline. Good looking move by Miller. Miller with his first field goal. He's got three. 2-3 zone by the Eagles. Bounce pass goes to McGregor now to Glant. Glant finds Leo to the baseline. Extra pass to Glant inside to Leo. Leo making his way for the almost and one opportunity. Havelka will pick up the foul. Team's 10th. That'll be his third. And two free throws upcoming for Leo. Leo shot five, three free throws in the first half. He'll have now 10 and 11 free throws here in the second, just in the half. Currently eight of 15 from the free throw line here is Leo. Now with 20 points, second free throw attempt on the way is good. Tony Leal, 9 of 16, 21 points. Packers back within 10. York in the front court for the Eagles. Left wing, leaves it by Swinger. By Swinger, that's an offensive charge. By Swinger will get called for his fourth. Good defense there for Keaton McGregor beating by Swinger to the spot at the free throw line. And 
will have a offensive charge. So for the Packers now, they will see it with Aiden Samick. Samick to Bonfis Loria. Loria bounce passes Samick. Now to Bonfis. Bonfis looking for it on Leo. Leo ripping it through. We have a jump ball. We do. Alpha Camara. And he also had Cameron Miller there. And Camara got enough of that one. Essentially a turnover in that particular possession. As Ranky will come back in, the 6 5 sophomore forward here for Fargo Davies. York into the baseline with Samick. And defense here by Samick trying to weave York, but York gets it in the front court. Jumper now from 12 as he had that half step in front of him, and York makes him pay. York with 21 points on the night. Glant in the front court. Glant bounce pass, left-hand side. McGregor slips. Bonfis, Loria able to spin. Camara might have touched it. Rebound, Leo put back. No, Loria no, and will have a foul. And Loria will go to the free throw line where he's 0 for 2 so far tonight. Well, I have to... As Hasbargan picks up the foul, that's his second free throw opportunity again for the Packers. This one will be with Laurie, and that one is missed. Substitution is Trough Grubin and Beckett Fowler back into the game here for West Fargo. Packers hosting South and Cheyenne here. Some awfully good competition coming to the West side in the next couple of days. And then into next week as well. As Loria goes one to two from the free throw line. Packers, as we've said many times before in this half, it's either a eight or 10 point margin here for West Fargo. York with it between the circles. York, ankle cross. York shooting from 14, can't get it to go to rebound for Leo. Leo's got his 21 points and 11 rebounds here. Right-handed side, Beckett foul, right pocket, rainbow, triple off the iron ball out of play, and it should be Packer basketball, it is. So West Fargo gets another crack at this one as they will inbound it here with McGregor right in front of their own bench. McGregor right-handed side to Beckett foul. Foul, bounce pass on the interior to Leal. Here comes the help, Leo high, rainbow, turnaround jumper for two. Lee with 23 points, Kamara did about everything he could defensively outside of blocking the basketball on that shot. York takes the screen. York left-handed side, couple hard dribbles. There goes Miller, put back for Kamara for two. And we'll have a timeout for Bart Manson. Alpha Kamara nearly threw it down. Eight points, eight rebounds, timeout. Bart Manson with under five minutes to, five minutes to play here on your live event. For a top-notch car wash experience, head to Fast Lane Car Wash, situated next to the Petro Stopping Center in Fargo. They treat every vehicle with the same respect and care as their own, ensuring that your car is in good hands from pre-wash preparation to hand-dry finish. Check out the Fast Lane Car Wash on the west side of the Petro Stopping Center in Fargo and spruce up your ride with interior detailing, buff, and wax at the Fast Lane with Thomas weekdays from 9 to 2. Call 701-799-8226 to schedule an appointment. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in North Dakota. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the NDHSAA and the North Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. High school basketball here tonight on yourliveevent.com. Davies leads it by 11 with under five minutes to play. The Eagles looking for a hard-fought victory and try to win their fourth consecutive game over the West Fargo Packers here in, this, in the series as Boffis Loria will bring it into the front court here for West Fargo. Loria left-hand side, McGregor. McGregor at the left wing. Now will be up top to Trough Grubin. Trofgerman at the right wing, skip now to McGregor, bounce pass, stolen away by Kamara. Alpha Kamara in the front court. Back up top now to York. York, we'll see it at the right wing. 
York probing, looking, and will have a foul with Trough Grubin. Trough Grubin will pick up the foul. Adam Polchewski was looking for the jump ball, nothing granted, and here goes York to the free throw line. 21 points for York. The senior guard, his average is 20 on the season through eight games as he missed one game this season. Now 10 of 10 from the free throw line. Single free throw attempt for York is upcoming. And York buries another one. McGregor in the front court here, and it's almost kind of getting to that point where you're West Fargo, you can ill afford to have many more empty possessions. Trough group in left-hand side. Beckett foul. There's going to be a foul as banking his way through the screen was Hasbarg, and he'll pick up the foul as McGregor will go to the free throw line. So Hasbarg will pick up the foul. That will be his second. And going to the stripe here will be Keaton McGregor. So McGregor to shoot two at the free throw line. As a hush falls over the crowd, and McGregor misses the first. Free throw attempt number two upcoming here for the Packers and McGregor on this possession. McGregor misses both. Rebound, though, for Bonfis Loria. Then a jump ball in the air will stay Packer basketball. If you're Bart Manson, how did the last four minutes and 13 seconds go awfully quick? And if you're Adam Polcheski, how can you continue to extend this game a little bit more and get some offensive firepower? You're going to need some stops, but right now you need to put the ball in the hoop. This would help. McGregor, three off the iron rebound, comes down to Miller. Front court for York. York will handle it here. Left-handed hit by dribble. Shake and big move from York, and he gets fouled. That hesitation from York just to see if he's going to go left to right or right to left. Trough Grubin will pick up the foul. He'll foul out. 5'10", uh, senior guard, unable to get much going offensively here tonight. That's some things well here for head coach Adam Polcheski in terms of rebounds and trying to get some of the offense have started. As Beiswinger comes back into the game here for Fargo Davies as York goes back to the free throw line. York will shoot the free throw, buries the first. Second free throw attempt here for the Eagles as they're trying to get up by 15 points. Second free throw attempt is good. Now with 25 as Bonfis Loria brings it into the front court. Leaves it near sideline to Glant. Glant will handle it here at the top of the key. Left-hand side now to Beckett foul. Open, shooting, and this one will be long. Rebound tapped out here to Byswinger. Byswinger to the front court, and York can set up the offense here. Needs to get across that 10-second count, does. York at the left wing now to the top of the key to Byswinger here. Byswinger reverses to the baseline, gets the shot off, but can't get it to go. Rebound to Tony Leal up the other side of the floor. Kick out, Beckett foul, right baseline jumper, got it to go. Beckett foul with the triple, his second three of the half. Packers back within 12. Davies left-handed side, West Fargo going to have to start chasing the game a little bit here with the pressure defense as Loria provides the pressure now on York. And we'll have a five-second violation and a turnover here for Davies. So that helps you get a three, get a quick turnover. Now you got to collect yourself again and try to put one in the hoop here for Fargo, for West Fargo. Beckett foul, nice half, 10 points in the second half, 12 in the game here. That's kind of been the one-two combination with him and Tony Leal scoring here for West Fargo in the second half. Loria slip inside Leal, but that's an offensive foul. Beckett Fowl did the right thing in terms of trying to set the screen, but he just kept the extension of the forearm and tried to push off for Camara. Beckett will pick up the foul, his first. And both teams in 10-plus foul territory and counting. Fargo Davies. We'll see this one in the backcourt with York. 
York leaves it left-hand side. Eagles with a little UCLA cut there to York. Right-handed side now to Kamara. Kamara at the right wing, back to York. York ripping it through left to right. York bounce pass, Alpha. Alpha lost it on his way up, throws it up somehow, got it to go for two. Alpha Kamara with 10 points and eight boards. Bonfist Loria. Loria utilizes it. Right-handed side with the basketball to McGregor. Leaves it. Beckett foul. Shoots a three. This will be off the long rebound. Eventually, Tony Leo trying to come up with it. Now it's in the hands of Miller. And Miller slows it down. And all that Davies needs to do right now is milk some clock and minimize possessions with two minutes to play. By Swinger leaves it. And Kamara wasn't ready for the 90-mile-an-hour fastball. Maybe an oop, but not that. 90 mile an hour fastball about six feet away. West Fargo rolls the ball up the floor to Bonfis as they give it now here to Beckett foul. Foul to Loria. Bonfis interior to Tony Leo. Leo making his way and then we'll have a foul with Camara. Alpha will pick up the foul. His for Tony Leo goes back to the free throw line here for the Packers. 23 points on nine of 16 shooting from the floor and 12 rebounds. Very workmanlike game here for Leo. Free throw opportunity. As Leo will head to the stripe for the West Fargo Packers. Free throw attempt is up, and it's short. Second free throw attempt on the way. Upcoming here for... Second free throw attempt is in and out. Rebound comes down to Kamara. York guarded by Bonfist Loria here. These two teams again will meet later on in the regular season. And we'll have a timeout for head coach Bart Manson. We'll break as well. 95 seconds left to play in regulation. Timeout on the fourth. Hungry and on the road, Petro Stopping Center in Fargo has got your back. With an impressive lineup of goodies, including Popeye's Chicken, Charlie's Cheesesteaks, Cinnabon, Papa John's, and a mouth-watering full-sized restaurant, the Dolly Down Grill, you'll be spoiled for choice. Whether you're a quick pit stopper or looking to settle in for a while, Petro Stopping Center's Fargo location has got you covered 24-7 every day of the week. Cruise on over to their spot just off 45th Street at 994 and indulge in a feast fit for the road warrior in you. Keep your job site stocked with reliable service from Prairie Supply, Inc., the contractor's headquarters. Our team specializes in everything concrete. That means hand tools and equipment, rebar of all shapes and sizes, concrete forming packages and ICFs, decorative concrete materials like color, stain, sealers, and coatings. And let's not forget our impressive fleet of winter construction equipment to keep the concrete flowing all year round. If you've got concrete questions, we've got concrete answers at Prairie Supply, Inc., the contractor's headquarters. Visit us today at any of our six locations. I got a new leader at the top in the EDC here this season. How about the week for South? You go to a ranked Grand Forks Central. You pick up a win on Monday on the road, and then you come back and cap the week off with a win over your rival from the Bruin Den, 102-81. to Mike Hendricks and the Bruins now 6-1 and one in conference play. They are the number one team in the EDC as North drops to 5-2. It's going to be that kind of year, and it has been in the Eastern Dakota Conference. You're never sure what you're going to get on any particular night. Foul here on the floor for the Packers with Beckett foul. Free throws to come as West Fargo is trying to extend the game as much as possible. And your Fargo Davies, control the ball, make your free throws, and you'll walk out of here with a win. Miller to the free throw line to shoot two. But again, Fargo South, now 6-1 and one in the EDC, stands alone at the top of the mountain. North is 5-2, and two, barring the results with Red River and Horace and here on this one. South is in a really good spot. Free throw line is good for Miller. Second free throw attempt is good as well. Packers down by 16, largest deficit of the game. Beckett foul. Now to Loria, back to Beckett. Right of the key, three on the way. Beckett can't get it to go. Rebound, Kamara ripped away by Leal, and Kamara will go the other side. Alpha, there's your double-double right to his season average. 10 points and 10 rebounds on the button. And Kamara goes back to the free throw line. This will be the foul on West Fargo. 
possession as Seymour will pick up the foul. And two free throws here for Alpha. Free throw attempt on the first is going to be long. Second free throw attempt upcoming. As Sam Glant returns to the floor here for the Packers. Tale of two halves, the first half up and down, back and forth, good tempo, good transition. Yeah, there was fouls, but in the game of play, while Kamara misses the second rebound, comes down to Loria. And here, again, it has been a stalemate with just the physicality from both these teams. And then got some reaches. That'll be a clean steal as York will come up with it here. York guarded by Glantz in the front court. York gets it to the left elbow. Jumper partially blocked. Rebound, though, by Kamara. Finger roll, layup for two, and that'll be the exclamation point. Kamara with a shot there for Fargo Davies as the Eagles will sweep the West Fargo Packers here tonight as they come up with another steal after the girls defeated the Packers earlier here for head coach Tony Safranski, and we have a offensive here on Beiswinger. Beiswinger will foul out of the game. That'll be his fifth. Finishing in with 14 points. Beiswinger also goes one of three from the free throw line with a made three-pointer. Other side of the ball. Packers, right-handed side, McGregor, skip it to Beckett Foul. Foul to the high post to Glant, work it around the horn. McGregor, he'll shoot the three-pointer off the front iron. Rebound here for Fargo Davies to Asbargan, and all that Fargo Davies needs to do is bring the ball in the front court here with York, and that'll put a ball on this one here tonight. Fargo Davies will come into West Fargo and pick up a hard-earned fought victory over the West Fargo Packers here this evening. With the win, Fargo Davies now 7-3 on the season, 5-2 in conference play. While with the loss for the West Fargo Packers, they dropped to 4-7 on the season and 3-4 and in conference play. Coming up, we'll get to our post-game show brought to you in part by Tommy's Express Car Wash here on your liveevent.com. For trusted news, weather, and sports from your community, look to r &J Broadcasting Incorporated. KRJB, KRJM, and KKCQ Radio and rjbroadcasting.com. Hear local voices from local radio with news and information from the area. Your information stations, KRJB, KRJM, and KKCQ Radio and rjbroadcasting.com. Local voices from local radio. I'm Freya Angen. I'm confident during the match, and when it's time for college, I'm confident Bank of North Dakota will help me make good student loan decisions. Visit bnd.nd.gov slash confident. I'm Lily Bell. I'm confident on the court, and when it's time for college, I'm confident Bank of North Dakota will help me make good student loan decisions. Visit bnd.nd.gov slash confident. As we come back here on our Tommy's Express Car Wash postgame show, join us as a man who didn't miss from the free throw line. 13 of 13, that is Mr. Daniel York here with 25 points to lead the floor as the Eagles improve to 7-3 and three on the season and 5-2 and two in conference play. And a Daniel nice win here, kind of a tale of two halves, right? The first half you come through up and down, a lot of transition game. Second half it's physical. The ref's calling some fouls because of that physicality. You hit some from the free throw line. What would you like most about your team, though, picking up a win here at West Fargo, Daniel? Um, I, I really love how we stayed in control. You know what I mean? We controlled the pace of the game. We didn't let them rush us, you know. Control and tempo is big. Like, like that's that's what got us to like drift away in this game and extend the lead a little bit. 
making free throws, you know, making the winning plays. How about uh, Charlie Metzger in that oh, first half, yeah. right? I mean, he literally <laughs> left the gym for crying out loud, going after a loose ball, able to get a couple field goals. What did Charlie provide there in that first half? He provided the energy. He provided everything we've been looking for. <laughs> Charlie came in, and he wasn't afraid to make plays. Like, he, he's hustling out there, and I love it. Like, that's the type of guy we need on the floor. It's been fun to see this progression of this team. Uh, Alpha Camara, 12 points, uh, another double-double. Uh, Alpha can in, in just impact the game in so many ways, but what is it about his defense, his length, and rebounding that he provides night in and night out to this team? Well, one, the kid jumps out the gym. <laughs> 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 he just wants to play defense. Like Alpha loves defense. Like He, he wants to go out there and block shots. Like He takes pride in rebounding the basketball, So and that's big for us. Like A lot of our rebounds come from him. And yeah, he's a dog. <laughs> Final thing for you, Daniel, before we let you go, what do you hope to take from this one, right? It's kind of been up and down a little bit, but that's that's the landscape of the EDC. You're never sure what you're going to get from your opposition on a particular night. As we reach the midway point here this season, you got Horace up next. What do you have to kind of take into this stretch run here before you get to the month of February? Uh, I think still limiting turnovers. Um, there are still some plays where we turn the ball over, trying to play too fast. Yeah, we got to limit that, limit that, and we'll see, like, we'll see more success in our team. Daniel, thanks so much for your time and best thanks of luck moving forward. Me. Again, Daniel York with us here on our post-game show. We'll continue after this. College goes far beyond the buildings, classrooms, and the tests. It's about making new friends, trying something different, and discovering your purpose. It's about getting involved, supporting your community, and joining the conversation. It's about learning, growing, and finding your passion. This is not your average classroom. This is the University of Minnesota Crookston. Every Wednesday night at 7, watch the YourLiveEvent.com Coaches Show presented by the Hillsboro Economic Development Corporation. Stay up to date with the latest goings-on in the region as we'll hear from area coaches in North Dakota and Minnesota, plus we'll highlight area high school seniors on their achievements in the classroom and on the court with our senior spotlight. That's the YourLiveEvent.com Coaches Show presented by the Hillsboro Economic Development Corporation, Wednesday nights at 7 on YourLiveEvent.com. For 20 years, 702 Communications has been connecting people and businesses to the world through internet, telephone, and TV. And as your needs have changed, so has 702. Our dedication to our community and customers runs deep. So when you call, we listen. And you can trust that we'll never stop working to bring the latest technology to our friends and neighbors. Thank you for 20 years in business. The best is yet to come. As we come back on our Tommy's Express Car Wash postgame show, let's take a look at some of the final numbers here in this one. As the Eagles finish 18 of 25 from the free throw line, they had eight players in the scoring column, just two threes in the game, and they did not hit any in the second half. But again, when you go 18 of 25 from the free throw line, you'll take it. 18 turnovers here for the Eagles. For the West Fargo Packers, 15 of 30 from the free throw line, five players in the scoring column. They would have 24 turnovers here tonight three threes in the first half three in the second they finish with six in the game individual numbers on our post game report 25 here for york as we mentioned 13 of 13 from the foul line 14 points for Beiswinger and 12 points and a double double for alpha camara six points then for nick Hasborgen, six points for Peter Havelka, five points on the way for Miller, four points here for Holden Witte, and four points for Charlie Metzger. Again, the Fargo Davies Eagles led by the 25 of York. One for the West Fargo Packers here tonight, 23 points, 12 rebounds for Tony Leal on 9 of 16 shooting from the free throw line, 12 points with Beckett foul, nine points for Keaton McGregor all in the first half of play, eight points then for Sam Glant with two threes, and six points for Bonfis Loria with six rebounds. As 
as we now turn our attention to our Enbridge Energy player of the game. We heard from him just moments ago, Daniel York. Again, you just can't ask for anything better. A little bit of the closer here today for Forgo Davies as he would finish with 14 points in the second half out of his 25, but he only hit two field goals. He went perfect in the second half, 10 of 10 from the free throw line. And when he can do that and he can close out games, that goes a very long way. Again, Daniel York is our Enbridge Energy player of the game. Enbridge.com for a career opportunities. Life takes energy. Go to Enbridge.com. Now to our Orange Enterprises feature precision play of the contest. Every time that Wes Fargo would have a run, Davies answered. That was part one of it. And then part two of it here for the Fargo Davies Eagles was their ability to hit from the free throw line again, able to go 18 of 25 from the free throw line here tonight. When he can do stuff like that, that goes a very long way here in this one. While on the opposite side, the Packers go 15 of 30 from the strike. And again, it's our Artie Cantor Prizes feature precision play of the contest. Artie Cantor Prizes with locations in Hillsborough and Drayton. Go to visit planterdoc.com. That again is planter. Doc -doc com on our Tommy's Express Car Wash Post Game Show. Quickly, let's take a look at your town scoreboard one more time here tonight in boys basketball. Red River defeats Horace 93 to 81, and Red River has now won three consecutive games, three and five on the season here as they defeat Horace by 12. Fargo South 102 to 81 against Fargo North from the Bruin Den. Out West Minot surpasses Legacy by 13. Bismarck 103. They knocked down number two Century to 61. 103 61 the final out west tonight. Bismarck High over Century and Mandan tops St. Mary's 83 to 63. So those were just some of the scores on our Tommy's Express Car Wash post game show. Tommy's Express Car Wash with two locations in Fargo and two in Moorhead. They have the expertise to keep your car clean inside and out. Davies gets the win in the girls, and Davies gets the win in the boys. On behalf of Chris Crick, I'm Chase Miller. Thanks so much for tuning in to high school basketball. Make sure you join us tomorrow for the Storehog Wrestling Tournament down in Lisbon and more basketball and wrestling throughout the week beginning on Monday. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Friday night.